Yo, what the fuck is up guys? It's Mr. Simon back here yet another troll video today on the Xbox and for some reason I'm recording this video very fucking late. It's about 1030 right now in my Eastern Standard Time because I do live in New York If you guys don't already know it's extremely fucking hot outside But I was actually just laying in bed with my AC blasting on my ass because it's so goddamn hot And I was like I actually have a lot of energy so I'm kind of want to record a video today Now usually I record a video a day in advance But I kind of been slipping on that because I've been really busy so actually uh, oh my god I gotta lower my fucking TV. Hello, remote control before I destroy my fucking house. There we go. Okay, that makes no sense. But anyways, so usually I record a day in advance, but lately I've been busy. So uh, t today is going to be tomorrow's video, if that makes any sense. <clears throat> but right now is Friday. When this video goes up, it's going to be Sunday? No, Saturday. I think it's going to be... Yeah, it's going to go up Saturday. Sorry about that. So uh, anyways, I think... I'm doing something that's very disgusting, and a lot of people are going to be like, Snowman, why the fuck are you doing this to yourself? But I really want to set a goal for myself. I haven't really set any goals for myself, except obviously I want to buy Ganda. Right now I'm kind of saving up. I It's been about a few days and maybe about a week, and I have 530k on me. And I haven't sold any of this stuff, like I said in my last video about the Megalithic update. If you guys have not seen that, go check out my video. It came out yesterday. And uh, it's basically talking about how you can make millions of flocks just selling everything in your inventory, basically. That video is very uh, wonderful and filled with a lot of intel that you're going to need for this future update. But I'll talk about what I'm doing, talk about my build and stuff like that right now. Now, uh, I'm actually going to go and try getting, I don't know if it's going to happen, guys, but I'm going to try getting a full stack of air and power gem boxes. Now, obviously, this is all going to be in U9. I'm going to save up all of the boxes and wait for boxes opened. Now, right now, for the week, it is, uh, I think it's, yeah, it's Friday tonight. I'm very fucking tired now for after, as soon as I start recording. So, anyways, it's Friday right now, so I do have until Tuesday to get as many boxes as possible. Now, I got these 500 just from today, so, I mean, I, it's, I could, if I continue grinding as hard as I was today, I think I grind for, like, I think three or four hours, and I got, or, not even three or four hours, maybe around two and a half, three hours straight, and I got about 500 boxes, which is really fucking good, actually. So, I mean, if I keep it up, I can definitely get a full stack, and I think I'm gonna be the only person that's ever actually gotten, like, a full stack of these things. Like, I don't really know, because it's hard to tell, because people on YouTube, like, people don't always record stuff that happens in games and everything like that and obviously this isn't really anything special it's just a full stack of boxes like who the fuck really cares but uh your boy snowman cares so what i really want to do is get a full stack of boxes wait until boxes open and open them all up hopefully be number one for box open for at least a day or two and then also i, I need a better air gems but i'll show you why in just a second you guys are gonna fucking kill yourselves when you see this but uh for my gunslinger my gems are really bad. We're actually going to go hop on my Gunslinger real quick so I can show you them. But for my air gems, it's really goddamn bad. So uh, this one right here, this is a perfect, obviously. It's maxed out. I think it rolled in a crit hit once or twice. So I'm going to have to get a different uh, Stellar Empowered gem eventually. But this one rolled in a crit hit, I think, every time. And it also has no magic damage on it. So I think it rolled in max health once and crit damage twice. So this one definitely, definitely, definitely needs to go because I want a gem that has magic damage and also rolls in a crit damage twice. That would be my ideal gem. Don't really need all this crit hit. Not really a big fan of it. I think I'm pushing almost 96, 97. And this one right here has magic damage and crit damage, but rolled in the health regen once. And I think, actually, I think it rolled in the health regen twice, guys. And then crit damage. So I do need to switch you two gems out. But uh, like I said, my gems, honestly, my stats aren't that bad on my Gunslinger right now. So I'm not really in the biggest rush to actually go through and uh, open up all my boxes right now. And then, you know, get better gems and level them up. Obviously, I do have like... 50 no not 50k i do have like about like 27,000 air gem dust already so after i unbox all of these i'm definitely gonna see how much air gem dust i get but um also on my shadow i'll show them right now i think i have one that rolled in a crit damage a bunch yeah this one rolled in a crit damage all three times or crit hit i mean all three times which is disgusting and i want to switch those out obviously and then this one's not too bad i think this one rolled in a physical damage twice and crit damage once which obviously isn't that bad I should be in Fire World, because look at these gems, guys. I don't have crit damage on either of these gems or this one. This is where all my health comes from. But I'll show you why that's kind of important in just a second. Uh, so I do need better Fire Gems, but that'll be for a different time. One of the reasons I did pick the Air Worlds is because all the dungeons are so fucking easy to access. It's absolutely insane. And I just like doing Air Worlds. It's, it's just really fun for me. I don't really mind it. And uh, you guys are probably wondering why I have Valorous Vial on instead of Death Defying or even like, uh, what the fuck is it? Uh, any other Flask, Chaos Vial, anything like that? So... The reason I have uh, the Valorous Vial on is because, one, your boy Snowman is almost pushing a million fucking health, and the enemies in this area in a U9 don't do enough damage to the point where I can get one hit. Now, when people do use their charge attack, I do lose about like 600,000 health, but it doesn't kill me completely. For some reason, my Shadow Hunter can just stay alive and tank through everything, like I'm just one tanky fucking Shadow Hunter. So, um, instead of dying, I really 
like I was noticing when I do dungeons, even when I just stand there, I don't go through a single flask, even with death defying on. Like to, I was just even trying it out. So as you can see right here, I'll just stand here. Look at my health. I barely lose any of it, and I gain it all right back. So if you guys don't know what the Valor's Vial does, it only gives you 15 flasks. But every time you hit a crit, I think with every, every like 10 to 20 seconds, somewhere in between there, I'm not too sure, you actually get a flask back. Now, uh, obviously my emblems are the 20% uh, crit hit and the 250% physical damage. Now, one one of the reasons why this is so important is because now instead of hitting up a cornerstone, I mean, I guess I could just keep picking up loot and dismantling at a cornerstone. But uh, now instead of actually going to a cornerstone, I can just use a flask, uh, kill everything in here, and buy, look at my flask. Keep Pay attention to those. Actually, I'm going to have to fucking go somewhere else and kill an enemy. But, um... I'm going to actually keep regaining my flasks over and over again. We'll see if I can keep it in crits on this guy and then pull another one. Of course, when I record a video, nothing's going to happen. Rest in peace, fucking snowman 2017. Can we get one right here? Hello. But basically, every time you hit a crit, uh, it has a chance to come back, which is really nice. But like I said, it has a cooldown, obviously, or else this would be extremely overpowered, especially for the Shadow Hunter or any class that has a lot of attack speed, like the Neon Ninja. So... Uh, but definitely, this is one of my favorite flasks. Someone donated to me a while ago. I just got right back right there. But as you can see, I just don't lose any health. The tanky Shadow Hunter is kind of clutch. Now, you guys are probably wondering why, Snowman, you have a Gunslinger. You one-hit basically everything in you 9 Why the fuck are you on your Shadow Hunter? Now, one of the reasons I'm on my Shadow Hunter is because of this method right here. All I do is basically just sit here, spray and pray, do absolutely fucking nothing, and uh, basically just sit here and this is what I do. I just go dungeon to dungeon doing this one goddamn thing over and over again, which it, I guess it kind of doesn't get repetitive, but I'm honestly not bored of it whatsoever. And I'm really excited to actually get a bunch of these boxes. Now, Hard Rock did get like over a thousand of both air and fire and you get absolute shit of all of them. So hopefully when I get a fucking 10,000 of these, I won't have to worry about that. I should at least get at least one or two perfect two stars. Odds are your boy Snowman's going to get shafted. And uh, I'm also going to wait until after the update. Because after, we're going to have to find a new world in a second. But after the update, uh, you when you do get Stellars, they dismantle for a lot more uh, air gem dust. Which is going to be absolutely amazing. Especially right now. I think you get like 80 or 90 air gem dust for uh, each Stellar you dismantle. I'm not too sure. I think that's going to double. I can't remember the exact numbers. Uh, I could look it up right now. But, you know, we don't got time for that shit. So, you're going to just listen to raw snowman footage. But, uh, I don't know the exact numbers. But, I know my, none of my stats. My fucking Shadow Hunter is absolute trash. But... This is just how I like doing dungeons. Obviously, Shadow Hunter is Bay. Now, I'm not going to be on my Lunar Lancer for a little bit because I want to do keep doing this for the rest of the week. Now, I do have to work within the next few days not to do a bunch of other stuff in the game. But uh, I did get a fast, or I did get a daughter time. Thank you for everyone that helped me out getting a daughter time. Me and Hard Rock and a bunch of other people went in there. Scad also helped up. He was our candy barb, so thank you, Scad, for that. Vito and a few other people in it as well. Fun guy. Uh, what the fuck is the other people? SRH Guru and I forgot who was left in it. I can't remember. IQU. IQYU. There you go. All right. So shout out to all you guys. I'll show you guys my time right now. It's actually not that bad. Uh, we didn't have like the best gunslingers ever, but we definitely had some really good ones. And I'm gonna try showing you my fucking time right now. So my time is actually uh, 25.99 seconds. Now that is rank 40, and it's also Friday night, so I shouldn't get pushed out. I mean, look at everyone's in the 25s. Holy fuck! Oh my god! And everyone's in the 25s. Okay, well, uh, we'll, we're basically like three seconds shy of the fastest time right now. So I mean, if we get pushed out, that's actually insane. And congrats to everyone else that fucking pu pushed us out. But we should be good. Who the hell? Just discovers a large dungeon and leaves it down here. What the fuck kind of... Who raised you, boy? I want this Infinium, obviously. But, um... Now, I'm not really sure when it's going to be boxes opened. I know it was just boxes open. I think two or three weeks ago. I think it was boxes open. Then blocks placed. And I think dungeons completed. And now it's blocks destroyed. So, next up, it should be... I think... What the fuck? Next up, it should be enemies killed. And then I want to say it's going to be a box is open, but I'm not too sure, guys, so don't quote me on that. Hopefully that's the case, because I don't want to wait like two, like a whole month to open up these boxes. I really just want to get get them done and then, uh, you know, open them up. Probably get cancer, probably quit playing the fucking game. But we'll just have to see, right? And see what kind of RNG I get. Now, my RNG has been awful. I really think I should start getting fire gem boxes, but I really want to stick to this. Get a full stack of air gem boxes, because like I said, I never, th I never think it's been done before, guys. This could never have been done before. Uh, I don't know who in their right mind would actually save up 10,000 fucking air boxes and actually unbox them all at once. But I will record that. Obviously, it's going to be sped up or I can just cut to the very end and just show you guys all my gems I get. So whatever one interests you the most, definitely leave down below and I will uh, obviously go through with that one as well. Probably gonna just going to speed it up and then put what I get towards the end of it. I thought I got stellar there, but it's just a shitty orange once again. But uh, hopefully, like I said, I get something good. But odds are going to get absolute shit. 
But I really want to I really want to stick through with this one, get 10,000 boxes, and call it a fucking day. And I'm obviously going to keep track of how much dust I have, how many two stars I get, how many one stars, and all that good stuff. Just going to dismantle one, uh, zero stars right off the bat because honestly, who the fuck cares about those? They're so bad. Now, I'm pretty sure in this next update, they're actually getting rid of the zero stars. I'm not sure if that's true or not. I really hope so because I know it's kind of like an RNG thing where it's like, ah, oh, damn it, uh, I hit Karma Bar and I got a no star. Oh, well. But it's like... You work so hard for that karma bar, especially if you know a patron. Like, you guys know a patron out there, and you're farming U9 or U8 or something, and you hit karma bar, you get fucking no-star gems. That's disgusting. That is, like, time wasted. And every time I go to hit the karma bar or something, I get no-stars. Like, uh, just lately, I opened up 230 air gem boxes, like, before I decided to actually go through with this. And I think I got I maybe four one-stars, and the rest were all no-stars. I didn't get a single two-star. Out of over 200 boxes, that's multiple karma bars. Because I have patrons, so it's only 30 per karma. But that's multiple karma bars, and I got absolute shit out of all of them. Like, I don't understand why that's happening. But, what are you going to do, right? So, that's just my fucking two cents on it. I think it's kind of dumb. But, hopefully, they do get rid of that, and it's going to be a lot uh, better and easier for people to get better gems. Obviously, the gem rerolling is coming as well. I'm not really sure which update that's coming out. I think maybe the Shadow Tower update, which I'm really excited for. And also, you PC guys, I see that you guys have weekly events now that you can change your second stat around and your gear. Holy fuck, that's OP. Now I can just hold on to every shitty stat that I have and just reroll it, which would be perfect. Because eventually, I do want to get uh, about to 20,000 on all my characters. Now, the odds of that happening are very slim. I might just have all my really good gems all just stacked on the one character and just worry about that. But, like I said, maybe I'll go for Total Power because I know eventually there's going to be a contest that gives you Dragonite uh, Dragonite Fragments for a uh, Dragon Egg. Which, my luck, I'm never actually going to get a Dragon Egg, so I'm probably going to have to go through with that. So hopefully I can get some good gems. I don't know. Like I said, I'm only farming one type, so I can get maybe perfect gems for both my Gunslinger and my Shadow Hunter, which would be amazing. But after this, obviously, I'm going to go through and do Fire Gems because I'm pretty set on my Water ones right now. Oh my god, I'm about to fucking die. But uh, for my fires, my fire gems are complete shit. Uh, my fire gem on my gunslinger is really overpowered. I think my second fire gem is as well. And my, uh, what is it? My empowered fire gem is perfect. I think it rolled in the max. I think it rolled in mag damage twice and crit damage once. Which isn't too bad. Or maybe crit hit once. I'm not too sure. But it's still perfect stats. I'm really happy I got that. I've been waiting for that for so goddamn long, guys. And if you haven't seen that, it was inside my live stream. I think it was my first live stream. No... No, my second live stream. It was my second live stream ever done. And a lot of people have been asking about the live streams. Don't you worry, guys. The live streams will be coming back eventually. Work has been slowing down a lot, which means your boy Snowman is home more often. Which means I can do more content and more live streams and all that good shit. And I know all of you guys like the live streams because the chat is absolutely lit on every one of my live streams. I really enjoy the chat. It definitely is the most entertaining part because even when you're just seeing repetitive content like this, me just doing dungeons over and over again, you still get to see chat and everyone just cussing each other out and everyone just saying all these horrible jokes that should never be said. And that kind of makes it a little bit more entertaining, you know? But I'm probably going to end off the video here because I don't want this to go on too long. Just want to give you guys a little update of what's going on and what's going on with my account, what I'm doing and all the good stuff. So if you don't see me in the, you know, any world really except fucking air worlds or don't see me in the hub or anything like that, odds are I'm on... I'm online, but I'm inside of a U9 grinding, and uh, it's pretty goddamn cancerous. I mean, I'm not really not enjoying it, but it's definitely a process. Like, I'm usually just jamming music, uh, eating food, maybe just Snapchatting people. That's basically all I do while I play this game. But, uh, like I said, I do like the Shadow Hunter the best because it is the fastest, in my opinion, for this. But I'm going to end off the video now. If you guys enjoyed the video, hit the like button down below. I'm going to have a dragon giveaway come out within the next few days. Weezing Muffin gave me a neon dragon code. So if you guys need a dragon, it gives you magic find and like I think crit hit and a few other stuff. Maybe attack speed, I don't remember. But um, if you guys do need a, that dragon or just want a dragon for whatever fucking reason... Definitely answer that giveaway within the next few days. I'll talk about that. This is not the giveaway video, though. So don't go comment all your IGNs and shit like that. I'll go over it in another video. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, hit the like button down below. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more content like this. Hope you all have a great day. I'll see you in the next video. And stay frosty, everybody.